Magandang araw, ako pong muli si Imelda B. De Guzman at ang topic ko po ngayon is about adding and subtracting dissimilar rational algebraic expressions. Muli, ihanda ang inyong notebook at ball pen at isulat ang lahat ng mahalagang konsepto na aking i-discuss. Okay, class? Okay, remember, we can simply add or subtract rational algebra expressions if the denominators are the same. So, kung pa paano naman kung hindi magkapareho ang denominators? So, we're going to change the rational algebra expressions into similar one using the least common denominator or LCD. Then, proceed as in adding and subtracting similar rational algebraic expressions. Okay, let us first have a review on how to find the LCD. First, list down the multiples of the given numbers. Second, look for the least common multiple. The least common multiple that you will find is the LCD. So, let us try these examples. So, we're going to find the LCD of 2 and 3. So, first, we're going to list down the multiples of 2. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on and so forth. Then, list down the multiples of 3. We have 3, 6, 9, 12. And look for the least common multiple. Okay? So, that is 6. So, therefore, 6 is the LCD of 2 and 3. Okay? Next example, we have 4 and 8. List down the multiples of 4. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on and so forth. And multiples of 8, we have 8, 16, and 24, and so on and so forth. So, look for the least common multiple. Ano yung pinakamababa na meron sila pareho? So, that is 8. So, therefore, the LCD of 4 and 8 is 8. Okay, before we proceed to our lesson, uh, let us first have a review on adding and subtracting the similar fractions. Okay, class, ang given natin is 1 half plus 3 fourths. Okay, so nakikita ninyo magkaiba ang ating denominators. So, hindi natin agad sila pwedeng i-add. So, kailangan muna natin silang hanapin ang LCD at express into similar fractions. Okay, so simulan na natin. So, ibigay muna natin yung multiples of 2. We have 2, 4, 6, and so and so forth. Then, give the multiples of 4. We have 4, 8, 12, and so and so forth. So, ngayon, piliin natin yung pinakamababang multiples na meron ang 2 at 4. Okay? And that is 4. Okay? So, this is our LCM. So, ngayon, yung ating LCM ay gagawin natin common denominator. Okay? So, ngayon, gagawin natin, i-divide natin yung ating LCD doon sa ating given. So, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Times 1, we have 2. Copy yung operation, plus 4 divided by 4 equals 1, times 3, we have 3. Okay, then add the numerator, so we have 2 plus 3, we have 5. Then copy the denominator. Okay, our answer is an improper fraction, so we're going to express this as mixed number para sim in simplified form. So we have 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, and this will be our answer. Next, we have 3 fourths plus 1 eighths. So, we're going to find the LCD of 4 and 8. So, list down first all the LC, all the multiples of 4. So, we have 4, 8, and so on and so forth. Then, multiples of 8, we have 8, 16. Okay? Okay, tingnan ninyo class kung ano ang pinakamababang meron ang 4 at 8. Okay, and that is 8. So, 8 is our LCM. And, yan ang gagamitin natin as common denominator. So, we have 8 divided by 4 equals 2 times 3 equals 6. Copy the operation. We have plus 8 divided by 8 equals 1 times 1. We have 1. Add the numerators. We have 7 and copy the denominator. So, this is our answer. Next, we have 1 fourth minus 3 halves. Okay? So, we're going to 
list down all the multiples of 4 and 2. Okay, so 4, 8, and so on and so forth. 2, we have 2, 4, 6, and so on and so forth. So, piliin natin yung pinakamababang number na meron ang 4 at 2. And that is 4. So, 4 ang ating LCM. Okay, so ngayon, gagamitin natin yung 4 as our common denominator. Okay? So, divide na natin yung ating LCD dun sa ating given. 4 divided by 4, we have 1 times 1, we have 1. 4 divided by 2, that is 2 times 3, we have 6. Okay? Then, copy yung operation, we have minus. So, 1 minus 6, that is equivalent to negative 5. And copy the denominator 4. Okay, so our answer is negative 5 over 4, which is an improper fraction. So we're going to express this as mixed number. So we have negative 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, that is our answer. Okay, another one, we have 2 ninths minus 1 over 6. So, we're going to find the LCD of 9 and 6. So, ibigay muna natin yung multiples of 9. We have 9, 18. Okay? Then, give the multiples of 6. We have, okay, 6, 12, 18. Okay? So, piliin natin yung pinakamababang common multiple ng 9 at 6. And that is 18. So, 18 will be our common denominator. Okay? So, 18, let us now divide the LCD by our given. So, 18 divided by 9 is 2 times 2. We have 4. Okay? Then, copy your minus sign. 18 divided by 6, we have 3 times 1. We have 3. Then, subtract. 4 minus 3, we have 1. Copy that denominator we have o 18 so our answer is 1 over 18 okay class our given is 5 over 18 a to the fourth power plus 2 over 27 a cubed our given example is an is a dissimilar rational algebraic expressions okay as you can see magkaiba ang ating denominators. So, at ang ating mga denominators ay mga monomials. So, pag ganito ang itsura class ng ating given, ang gagawin natin is hanapin yung ating, yung LCD ng 18 at nung 27. Okay? So, pag naghahanap tayo ng LCD, ano ang ginagawa natin? Okay, ililista muna natin lahat ng multiples ng 18 so, we have 18, 36, 54, and so on and so forth. Okay? Then, multiples of 27, we have 27, 54. Okay. So, hinto na tayo. Kasi, meron na tayo nakita ang common multiple. So, ibig sabihin, 54 is our LCM. Okay? So, ngayon, Gagawin natin siyang common denominator. Okay? So, ngayon, class, hindi pa tayo tapos ha. 54 pa lang. Nandun pa lang tayo sa numerical coefficients. So, tingnan naman natin yung ating literal coefficients. We have a to the fourth at a cubed. Okay? So, napansin niyo class, meron tayong magkapareho ang variable. So, ibig sabihin, parehong A at A din yung nasa kabilang denominator. So, pag ganito class, ang gagawin lang natin ay kukunin natin yung may pinakamataas na exponent. Okay. So, between A to the 4th at A cubed, A to the 4th power ang mataas. So, that will be our LCD. So, ngayon class, ang complete LCD natin ay 54a to the 4th power. Okay, next. So, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon ay i-divide natin yung ating LCD doon sa ating given. So, ganito magiging itsura. 
a to the fourth power divided by 18 a to the fourth power. So, what is 54 divided by 18? That is equivalent to, okay, that is equivalent to 3, okay? Then, cancel out all the common factor. So, we have 3, then times 5. So, we have 15. Okay? Next, divide naman natin yung 54, a to the 4th power, doon sa 27a cubed. Okay? So, ngayon, ang magiging sagot natin is 54 divided by 27, that is equivalent to 2. And a to the 4th power divided by a cubed, that is equal to 2a. So, ngayon, yung 2a, yung, yung sagot nito, ita times naman dun sa numerator. So, 2a times 2 is equal to 4a. So, class, ito na ngayon ang ating sagot. We have 15 plus 4a over 54a to the 4th power. So, class, ang given natin is 3 over m plus 4 plus 2m over m minus 1. Okay? As you can see, ang ating given denominators are binomials. So, pag ganito ang ating given, ang gagawin natin ay ipagta-times lang natin yung ating dalawang binomials. So, ganito muna natin siya isusulat. So, ang LCD natin is quantity m plus 4 times quantity m minus 1. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin i-divide yung ating given na, ang yung ating LCD doon sa ating given na denominator. So, ito yung ating solution. Okay? So, we have yung LCD natin, which is quantity M plus 4 times quantity M minus 1. I-divide natin doon sa ating denominator na M plus 4. Okay? Then, cancel out the common factor. So, ang natira natin is m minus 1. Then, ita times naman natin doon sa ating numerator na 3. So, ganito class natin isusulat. So, 3 times quantity m minus 1. Okay? So, next is, okay, dito naman tayo sa part na to. So, yung LCD natin na m plus 4 times quantity m minus 1, i-divide naman natin doon sa ating second na denominator na m minus 1. Cancel out the common factors. Then, the answer is m plus 4. Tapos, yung m plus 4, ita times naman natin doon sa 2m. So, sulat natin class na ganito. So, we have 2m times quantity m plus 4. Okay? So, ngayon, ang ating sagot ay 3 times quantity m minus 1 plus 2m times quantity m plus 4. Okay, pero class, hindi pa yan tapos. So, isi-simplify natin yung ating sagot. Okay, isi-simplify natin yung ating answer. So, isi-solve natin yung ating numerator. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, okay, it a times, or using the distributive property of multiplication, so 3 times m, we have 3m, 3 times negative 1, we have negative 3, then, ito namang part na to, so we have 2m times m, we have 2m squared, okay, 2m times 4, we have 8m. Okay? Over, copy yung denominator, we have m plus 4 times quantity m minus 1. Okay? So, let us combine similar terms. So, we have 3m and 8m. Yung 2m at negative 3 ay walang kapareho. So, kopyahin muna natin sila. So, we have 2m squared 3m plus 8m, we have 11m. 
Then, copy yung negative 3. Okay? So, class, nakita, uh, ang ating numerator is not factorable. So, ibig sabihin, ito na yung ating magiging sagot. So, ang gagawin natin para ma-simplify yung ating answer, yung ating, numer yung ating denominators ay kunin natin din yung product. So, we have m squared plus 3m minus 4. Okay? So, this is our answer.